When installing a new Instant Messenger on your smartphone, you are usually asked to grant the app permissions to access your address book. This allows the app to automatically connect you with all other users of the Messenger whose phone numbers are stored in your address book. This process is called Mobile Contact Discovery. To perform Mobile Contact Discovery, usually your address book is uploaded to a server that computes the intersection between all users of the Messenger and the contacts stored in your address book. This procedure is very convenient, however, poses a severe privacy issue. By uploading the entire address book to the server, the service provider gains access to contact information of many people who are not using the app. As a result, sensitive contact relationships can become known to the service provider and could be used to scam, discriminate, or blackmail users, harm their reputation, or make them the target of an investigation. Even if the service provider is honest, the server could be compromised, resulting in the exposure of such sensitive information. One solution for this privacy issue are cryptographic private set intersection protocols, shortly abbreviated as PSI. With PSI protocols, user and service provider can still compute the intersection between all registered app users and address book entries, but without revealing sensitive contact information that is not part of the intersection. There exist many different protocols for realizing PSI, a common approach for several state-of-the-art PSI protocols that are especially suitable for mobile contact discovery, works as follows. User and service provider each have a set of contacts which they want to intersect. The service provider first creates a secret key and uses this key to encrypt its entire database of registered users. Then, the service provider inserts the encrypted user database in a probabilistic data structure for efficient membership testing, like, for example, a Bloom filter or a more efficient Kaku filter. This encrypted and in some sense compressed user database is now sent to the user. Next, user and service provider engage in an oblivious pseudo-random function protocol, OPRF in short. With this cryptographic protocol, it is possible for the user to obtain encryptions of its address book entries under the service provider's secret key without the user learning the secret key and without the service provider learning the address book entries. Finally, the user can locally check which of its address book entries exist in the previously downloaded encrypted database. All matches are contacts that are already registered with the messenger and can safely be revealed to the service provider in order to establish a connection. To summarize, with the help of PSI, secure mobile contact discovery is possible as user and service provider learn only the inevitable amount of information while all other data remains confidential. In the past years, research efforts have focused on developing new PSI protocols and improving the individual building blocks in order to reduce the computation and communication overhead that arises compared to insecure set intersection methods. At the Technical University of Darmstadt, researchers from the Encrypto Group, in close collaboration with top researchers from Bar Ilan University and Graz University of Technology, develop highly efficient PSI protocols as part of the collaborative research center Crossing.